The last time a similar proposal was widely discussed was a few years ago in the UK, where the debate ended up getting derailed by concerns about bad actors applying in bad faith and access to women's spaces and sports. The willingness of activists to discuss possible compromises lost us support. The reform ended up getting dumped, and the gender critical movement was empowered in the process. Given that adequate legal recognition is something we need as soon as possible, this kind of debacle is not something we can afford again. What the activist establishment needs to recognize is that the dire situation right now means that we really need this protection, and we don't have the luxury of making enemies out of regular people who have reasonable concerns. This is what I th why I think we should be willing to accept compromises and limitations on the kinds of issues that derail the debate in the UK. Regarding these issues, I think it's something we all need to discuss, and I think we should welcome all kinds of proposals with an open mind, and deal in good faith with others' concerns as much as we can. This is why we should encourage free speech and free debate.